Warning. The following video contains graphic and disturbing images. You've been warned. Hello everybody, I am Shepples and welcome back to Let's Play The Cat Lady. And we are in one freaky ass flat. That wasn't moving before. Oh god, right, great. Three sixes. The number of the beast. He probably keeps mutilated bodies of his victims there. On the other hand, I read once that there was some other meaning of three sixes too. Something really innocent. I can't remember now. It's a long time ago and I had other things on my mind. What choice do we have? Even if I wanted to, the door... Oh, yeah... Here we go. I don't want to. <laughs> right, good. Uh, okay. Oh my. Oh my. The water from the baths completely flooded the bathroom floor. Not that I care, I just want to leave as soon as possible. Toilet. It's dirty like everything else in this place. Power lead. This must be the power lead that we need. Maybe it looks on my side today after all. I don't think so. You saw that. Oh shit. Gotta get out of here. Yeah. What? Jesus. No. You were not supposed to be here! You have to ruin everything. What have you done, you stupid, evil bitch? Who are you? I... I'm the gas inspector. There's a leak somewhere? Is that so? I can't smell any gas here. How odd. I think you're lying. You took her away, didn't you? What has she ever done to you? What? Look, sir, you are wrong. Shut up! I won't let you trick me again! Did they send you? They think I'll fall for these lies, but, but I'm smarter than this. I know what you're up to. I don't want any trouble. Just let me go. And I've got a gun. I can shoot you right there in your heart. It's not worth it, Joe. I've done you no harm. Of course, you haven't got a heart. Isn't that right? I... I have no idea what you're talking about. Listen, I've got to go now, alright? I'll slowly walk out of here, and you'll never see me again. Stay where you are! Don't come any closer! I would never hurt her. I only wanted to. I was trying to help for God's sake! Look! I don't care. I just want you to let me go. 
get back here right now and give me that blasted key! The floor. That has gotta hurt. <sighs> Come through here, devil. Charming! Examine. The writing above the door says devil. The writing above here says, above the door says here. Through came through here, devil. Open. Okay, so obviously, this is sort of like this, devil. Came through here. It's pretty simple. Doors are already open. Okay, in we go. What the hell? Come in, come in. There's no need to be afraid. I, I don't buy. Come in already. I might need your help with something. What? Examine. There are mostly horror books on these shelves. More than half of them are written by Stephen King. I guess Joe is a fan. Yeah, I like Stephen King. The bed is rather fancy. It reminds me of beds they have in cheesy country hotels. You need my help. I thought you wanted to kill me. Why would I want to kill you? You must be mistaken. Who do you think I am? Sorry. I must have gotten the wrong idea. It happens to me sometimes. I've been known to be a bit intimidating. I guess. But I'm not a violent person. Okay. Good to know. I mean, I will use violence if I'm pushed against the wall. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. All too well, Mr. Davis. All too well. Where, Where are, are we? we? I really can't remember the name of this town, but I'm pretty sure the hotel is called Quiet Haven. This is a hotel? I know. It's a joke. They shouldn't charge half the price for this dump, if you ask me. This is all just a dream, right? It's funny that you would say that. I've already heard that somewhere today. But if this is a dream, I've been asleep for a very long time. I'm sorry. I just want to leave. Yes, I understand. I wouldn't stay here myself if it was my decision to make. I'm stuck here too. You see, my wife Ivy is in the room to the left. She's a little fragile at the moment. She said she was going to do her makeup, but it's been a week now. Maybe longer. Every time I try to talk to her, she just gets angry. And she tells me she's not done yet. I've cooked her a meal, but she ignores me. She never likes what I cook. But what's that got to do with me? If you talk to her, I'll show you the way out, I promise. Just go in there and tell her. Tell her she looks fine. She's always so careful about looking perfect. Okay, okay. I'll see what I can do. So, your wife's been in that room for a week? Now that you bring this up, I think it might have been a month. That's a very long time to stay in one place. She wants to look great. I guess it takes time. 
But we really have to go now. I think there's a big storm coming. I feel it in my bones. Okay. This has just gotten all kinds of weird. Someone's bled on this chair too. Wardrobe. There are bloody handprints all over it. Oh god. Examine. The metal cover is tightly screwed in place. I can't move it by my by hand. <coughs> There's nothing special about it. Woman. Look at. Is this Joe's wife? Poor woman. This is horrible. Hello? Misery. I is that what you said? <laughs> Hello? Is that what you said? That is the most single creepiest thing I have ever experienced. Goodbye, Joe. What am I... Ah! Perhaps I should look for it. Looks like there's just about every book he's written here. It's a tight book titled Misery here. Is that what she meant? It's a long shot, but I might as well try. Misery. Open. A screwdriver. I suppose a part of me expected a gun. But this was sure come in handy. This this is fucking creepy. Hello? Misery. Misery. Okay, I'm gonna just is that Okay. Goodbye, Joe. What is... Power lead. Extension cord. Screwdriver, the panel. Maybe. Examine. There are two switches on both sides of the panel. I wonder what they do. Hello? Is that... I don't quite understand. Do I have to get him to all focus on her or something? Okay. This is a case of left, right, left, right, left, right, 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 left sort of thing. So. Let's try left, right, right, left, left, 
right. I don't understand. I don't Hello? think she's gonna say anything different. <laughs> no. Okay. I I just don't. F oh, there we go. Oh my. No wonder she's very upset. No. 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 This isn't Ivy! This isn't my wife! It's the monster. It followed me here. It always follows me. No matter what I do. Look, I'm... I'm sorry. You must kill it. What? Why me? You still got that power lead, haven't you? The one you stole from me? How do you even know about it? You must use it to kill her. To strangle her. You're out of your mind. Do it. Strangle the goddamn creature so it never follows me again, or I'll shoot you right here, right now. I. You leave me no choice. Go ahead. Wrap it round her neck and pull it tight. Yes. There's no other way. Stop it. What the hell's gotten into you, Mrs. A? I... I don't know. Did you just try to strangle me? No. Oh, God, no. I would never do that, Mitzi. I guess I... I must have panicked. I thought you were someone else. Look, I was gone for less than one minute. Really? Somehow it felt longer than that. At least you found the laptop cable. That's good news because I don't think mine will be any good. Let's see what's on this hard drive, shall we? Well, that was a waste of time. Never mind. At least now we're sure it's not him. Let's just go. I don't want to spend another minute in this place. Hey, did you think of a vegetable? What? I'd asked you to think of a vegetable while I was gone. So? Did you? I... yeah. Sure. Great. Now don't tell me. Was it... Carrot? Yes. <laughs> A carrot? That's amazing. How did you know? That's the secret. I can't tell you that, Mrs. A. Or else it wouldn't be a magic trick anymore. Yay, it works every time. Okay, okay. Don't get too big-headed now. <laughs> Sure, but... I am the greatest! <laughs> Look, I only said it was carrot to be nice. In fact, I thought about celery. <laughs> I wasn't going to say, but you leave me no choice. Yeah, right. Yes. Now, let's go. Joe can come back any minute, and you don't want to meet him. He is not a nice guy. I don't think that's the last we're going to see of Joe. I had this horrible feeling once I selected the option I have no choice. I had a horrible feeling that I was going to end up with Susan trying to strangle 
Mitzi. I just, I don't know what it was. It just hit me straight away after I hit. I was like, oh no. But either way, we've got a screwdriver. Which we can use to open this tin of paint. Like so. Now we can pick it up. No, 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 no. Take. Now we'll put the dress back on here. And we'll put. No, 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 no. No. Uh, we'll put that. Not a great color for your bedroom wall, but we're perfect for writing threatening text. Sorry, threatening messages on the wall instead. It works for Joe Davis anyway. Unless, of course, those three sixes on his bedroom door were written in real blood. Okay. Sorry, dummy. Examine. Okay. So what do we need? Well, basically... Yeah, got it. Red paint. We've got it already. The dress will make a great costume. We just need it in black. Done. Also, it should look damaged. That's important. Cat Widow is a ghost after all. I'll need some scissors for that. And a mask. We need some kind of mask. I don't want him to recognize me, obviously. Something weird about this wall, though. Okay. Oh, I didn't. Ah, oh, shit, 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 shit. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Red. Black. The and a mask. Okay. So. What we need to do then is let me see check the map right again I don't think this is going to be the last time we've seen Joe Davis so all that's left is the top floor let's go check it out Still no reason. Maybe this guy might talk to us now. Blunk. Ah! When you think he cop on that's me. This fuse and me, we're playing a dangerous game. It seems I am losing, but I'm a patient guy. Jesse. Sure, sure, but not right now. Yeah, I knew he was going to say that. So, okay. what next? Maybe we can find some clues in the mail? There's a mailbox in the hall. I've already tried that, but okay. Done so good so far. Examine. Open. Okay, can maybe she... Do you think you can unlock this mailbox? I think I can most certainly unlock this mailbox. Then do it quickly. Someone can come in any minute. A little room with a master locksmith. Mm-hmm. Really? <laughs> Could you step away towards the stairs and turn around? Please? All right. Da 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 da. Master criminal, if anything. Anything? Done. Here's all the mail. Hide it in your pockets and let's get out of here. It was mostly junk mail and leaflets. I threw those away. Okay. How's about 
<coughs> hardly read them here, do we? And right here would not be a good place. Can we just go back to the flat and just read it there as opposed to in the hall? That would be a great idea. Uh, okay. Letter to Pauline. Was Pauline again? Examine. Stress of Pauline Summers. She's that young mother who. Okay. Well, well. Looks like Pauline is looking for a babysitter. This letter says she's supposed to interview an agency nanny later today. Great. I could be a nanny. It's certainly worth a try. But I should warn you. I don't want to have anything to do with that baby. You're gonna have to handle this on your own. Sure, I understand. Leave it to me, Mrs. A. Okay. The other one's for Joe. It's addressed to Davis. He lives opposite me. It's from Dr. Frank Zellman. It appears he's Joe's shrink. Apparently, Joe failed to attend his weekly sessions recently. Well, well. It looks like Joe is just as messed up as I am. Or worse, who knows? I should be at I should be the last to make judgment really. Huh. Okay. So we'll go up here. And I'm going to leave it here for this part. So thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you and have fun.